Hey Vance, it's Colin. Yeah, so I've done some experiments. Actually, I'm kind of pulling my hair out trying to figure some of the stuff out because there's some little idiosyncrasies um, that just are causing me some some issues, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, it's most likely because I can. I've got it down to a couple of things here. Um, the bootstrap I use in the Myriad, um, not quite the same as the bootstrap I use in the Blacktop. <laughs> And I didn't think about it at the time, but in the blacktop, I've, I've stripped that one down and I've made it it's a custom bootstrap for the blacktop theme. Um, Myriad uses the full 100% bootstrap.css 3.00, not unmodified, with all the bells and whistles. Uh, what I was doing with blacktop is I was stripping that down because the full bootstrap's about 130k. It's kind of bloated. Basically, it uses about 6,000 lines of CSS. Of that, we probably use 1,000 to 1,500. For the template, but the rest is all extra stuff. Um, and uh, um, anyways, long story short, I'm just I'm just there's little things, and my biggest one that I can't figure out is the wow where the animation part works. Like these things, it doesn't work. It's just not coming in. It's not happening. Um, the rest of the bits and pieces I can actually get working, but. Uh, um, I'm just showing some screenshots of stuff right here, which I was just tidying up, but then I realized that the, um, I can't get the freaking, uh, wow, the animation part to work. So, uh, that and the fact that it's kind of bloated, because basically I have to load in all the styles and whatnot from the blacktop on top of, uh, um, the myriad stuff. What I was going to suggest, because I, I just have a feeling there's going, to, there's, going to, there's going to be little things that crop up. It's, it's going to be too much of a nightmare um, to do uh, nicely, uh, because we're looking at um, some different... I was, if you really want to upgrade, because you're using... Um, we got the Dreamweaver. I think you're using Dreamweaver. It's actually quite simple to take a blacktop. Um, and what you can do is actually apply it, or I can do it for you, is apply the blacktop over top of your existing site. So basically, we can preserve all the content. We can move the footer stuff into the blacktop, um, and then just basically update, it's just updating the library components. And uh, I'm, that might be the better way to go. <coughs> that's what, but when we do our content transfers, that's one of the, the ways what we do it is because we can take uh, a new template uh, we can apply it over your existing site so at least all the content the page names the meta tags all that sort of preserved um, that might be the better way to go um, as opposed to because you don't that way you're not copying and pasting basically you're applying a new template over an old one um, basically it would pretty much wipe out the uh, index just replace the index page wipe it out use one of the sliders from blacktop because we do have the full screen sliders in there as well. Um, anyways, that's just a, a thought uh, to go with as opposed to this, which there's just some, so many little bugs um, that it's just not looking and working the way I'd expected it to. So.